Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Here we are with a caddy video. And I, I know I like to be optimistic, but in this video, I'm gonna be very pessimistic and I'm gonna give you guys five things that I dislike about my van. See, I've owned it for just over two years now, so I've got to know it quite well and how it behaves, how it drives, little characteristics and things like that. So yeah, stay tuned, watch this video. I'm gonna give you guys five things that I don't like about the caddy. Let's go. Yes, then guys, so firstly, I just wanna thank you guys for tuning back in to my channel. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button already, please do so, it's absolutely free. Um, I'm trying to stay optimistic on this channel. Uh, I love the energy, the high vibes, the high vibe the high energy, the vibes. <laughs> but in this video, I'm gonna try and tone it down a little bit and be a bit pessimistic about my pride and joy caddy van. Now, I've owned it for over two years now. I've been up and down the country in it in that time, covering uh, just over 45,000 miles. And uh, yeah, we've got to know each other very well, how she behaves, you know, um, and I love the van. But I'm gonna give you guys five things that I dislike about it. And we're gonna start off with the factory headlights, the bulbs are horrendous. Even on a good day, the vision, you cannot literally see five meters in front of your bumper, like they're horrendous. So what I've done about that is I've been and bought some LED headlights and now they're like bright white and now everyone's flashing me, so I can't win. I either can't see or the people coming the other way can't see, so it's one of them. But I wanna show you guys anyway, so we'll turn it on and then, uh, We'll go outside and I'll show you the lights. So, not on main beam, just headlights. They don't look too bright to me. I mean, it is daytime. Right. So that's normal headlight. So that's normal headlight, guys. Oh, who's that? Um, and now we're gonna flick to main beam. We're now on main beam. Now you tell me if you can see a difference. I guess in this shot you can't actually tell that much. Yeah, that one you definitely can, that's way brighter. Yeah, I mean, to me, you can tell a difference whether I'm on main beam or not. But um, just driving at night time, everyone seems to think that I'm driving with main beam on. But um, it's literally because the factory bulbs are horrendous. Now, obviously, if you didn't know this already, as soon as you take your bulbs out, it flicks up a code on your dash. So hence why I've got code for headlights. Uh, I haven't got a headlight bulb out at all. It's just as soon as you do that, and obviously these aren't genuine Volkswagen Caddy bulbs. So. Yeah, that's why I got a light on the dash. But yeah, that's number one. The bulbs are horrendous. If you buy a Volkswagen Caddy, you're gonna need to change them because you cannot see. Even if you go, especially if you're in the UK, like nine times out of 10, the weather is horrendous. And if you splash a puddle and it goes over your headlights, then that is enough to block out the light and you can't see, it. you're blind. So number one, headlights are shocking. So moving on to number two, the second thing I dislike about the Caddy is actually the blind spots are pretty bad. So let me show you guys. So from my point of view, close the door. This blind spot, I have to physically move my head around to see, because there's been a few times I've come to a junction and there's, there's been a car there and I've had to like, double check for sure this little window down here whether it's my seat positioning or, or what is doing nothing i can't see out of that window whatsoever <laughs> that side's not so bad you can see through the little window there but it's still i mean there's always going to be a, a, an element of, of blindness i guess but yeah i mean i have to sometimes really exaggerate exaggerate my my head movement just to make sure i can i can see what's behind that blind spot so yeah, I mean, number two, the blind spots are shocking. Especially like, cause I've been in a few different vans, especially the bigger ones, the transits, the transporters, they're, the visibility on them is much more improved as opposed to the caddy. That, that, that's a little bit more of a, bit of a sketchy area. So the blind spots for sure, number two. So we're gonna take a step out of the caddy now. And number three, that I dislike is actually a good thing and a bad thing. 
but for the purpose of this video I'm going to go through the bad things with you and that is the size of the van so yeah I mean it kind of goes without saying the van is it is what it is the size you know <laughs> it's one of them so we're going to go in the side so obviously I've got the BMX in there at the moment so maybe on camera it looks kind of spacious and stuff but uh, if you're watching this video and you're looking to get a caddy or you you don't know what to expect with a caddy and obviously I use this van as a day van for biking trips up and down the country but I also use this van as a daily to get to and from work which means carrying material it means carrying tools um, a kind of obvious one but a sectional ladder is not going inside the caddy it, it won't fit uh, obviously you can see I've taken half the bulkhead out so I can slide the seat forward to give you that little extra room but it's still not enough for a ladder you need to get some roof bars and then strap it down but let me tell you this if it is a really windy day that ladder is going to whistle and you can try you can try and drown out the the noise by turning the radio up but trust me that whistle is going to get you and i just can't do it can't sit through it can't put myself through that torture so ladders are a no-go if you're trying to transport workbenches or chop saw stands and stuff it's a bit of a squeeze i have got the chop saw stand in there only because i've got the half the bulkhead out and i can slide that forward you can get you know if you're you know carrying lightweight hand tools uh battery powered tools and stuff your, your tool bags that's absolutely fine that'll go in there all day long uh on top of your bikes your skateboards and stuff like that so i've had four push bikes in the back of this so far uh with room to probably get some more in as well um and mountain bikes i've had three mountain bikes in there you can fit that in there no problem trying to get my 125 ktm crosser in this was an absolute ball ache i cannot tell you how much of a pain in the ass that was I had to take the passenger seat out that had to just i had to take it off the rails take that out and like the height of the van as well is too low you can't push a motorbike in straight it has to be on a camber and if you've got it on a ramp the ramp tips over it gets an absolute messy situation and then the front wheel sits in the footwell down there the bars kind of sit over there and then you have to drag it over and then climb over the motorbike so not an ideal van if you're trying to take this to track days for motocross um, so they're the bad points for the size um, and if you're using it for a camper obviously i have slept in this van uh, a couple of times again had to take the bulkhead out to be fair i'm not going to put it back in uh, i don't need to i'm going to keep half because should i have to break hard i don't really fancy you know a drill or a bike stabbing me in the back of the seat so yeah take it half out probably keep it out um slide that seat forward and i'm 5 10 and i can lay down flat along this side so yeah but there are points there are good points to obviously the size of the van but i'll cover that in the five things i love about the van so for this reason those reasons the size of this van is a bad point number four in the five things i dislike about the caddy now this one could be the fact that it is modded or my driving style i'll leave that up to you guys to decide but if you hit a corner in this van slightly above average speed for a corner it will start rolling like the the, the grip on the ground i don't know the van just feels like it's not as stable as as other vans that i've been in um so just be cautious about that when driving the caddy van i mean i don't drive like an absolute idiot he says <laughs> but it does roll when it goes around corners sometimes and it just gets a little bit uncomfortable and stuff but i'm really trying to dig deep to find five things i don't like about this van because secretly i do actually really love this van <laughs> so number four will be that it rolls going around corners. Now we're on to my final point, number five. The fifth thing I don't like about my caddy. Let's take a step inside the driver's seat. And you can see, let me pop you there. So this is my driving position. It is actually touching the bulkhead all the way back. I'm not the tallest dude, I'm 5'10". 
and a bit and um, you know I can comfortable comfortably reach the pedals just close the door um, you know with my knees quite bent so uh, I can't go any further back than that um, maybe I'd like to a little bit more just so I've got I don't know I don't know I just don't feel so cramped up in the van but um, yeah and obviously tilting tilting the back back you can't I'm stuck there I can't go any further back and I do feel quite upright I don't feel more like comfortable I need to be back a little bit more but it is a van and that is how vans are through my experience so um, but if I could change it I would I'd probably move the bulkhead back a little bit so you've got a bit more room like and obviously there's storage down the back of the seat and to do that you have to slide you have to get out open the door slide the seat all the way forward and even then is a struggle to get your arm to get anything out I mean in there I've got um, an oil filter oil bottle and I can't squeeze the oil bottle through the gap I have to lift it up and over the seat so number five is seat positioning the seat positioning sucks and so did the passenger side until I took the bulkhead half of it out that actually slides back further than the driver's seat and you've got a bit more room now but if I'd have kept the bulkhead in you'd have the same problem on the passenger side as you would on this side so seat positioning you're quite limited onto how you can have it so you just gotta suck it up buttercup <laughs> so that is my five things that i dislike about the caddy van um i had to really think hard about five things i don't like it because as a whole it is an absolute gem of a van i love it um so stay tuned for the next video on this van will be five things that I love about the Volkswagen Caddy. Yes, then guys, that is five things I dislike about my Caddy van. Cheers for coming back to watch another video. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, make sure you do so. It's absolutely free because I will be dropping a video on five things I love about the Caddy, which should be a lot easier because as a whole, I really do love this van. So cheers for watching another video, guys. I'm out. I'm not going to leave my GoPro behind, am I? <laughs>